Hey everyone, welcome back. It's good to see you, I hope you're well. It's been a busy week this week, so without further ado, let's find out what we've been up to. Thanks for watching. You okay? You all right? Okay. Crab apples starting to look really nice. I'm gonna leave this outside next winter. It only stayed in this winter because it was a Christmas present. Um, I had to keep it indoors hidden for a few days leading up to Christmas and then I didn't want to put it back outside with the sudden temperature changes so the crab apples coming out quite early but it's looking lovely at the moment getting a nice lot of blossom so if we get non blustery warm day I'll have to put this outside a little bit to hopefully pollinate that but we're getting some nice growth in here some growth coming on the larch as well starting to look quite nice need to weed it but so everything's springing back to life pretty much because it's spring I'd imagine or close to so all looking good here's the acorns and the conkers conkers haven't sprouted or done anything yet I think these ones in with the acorns are more crab apples, but they might be acorns because that is where I put them. So we'll find out soon and have to wait to see what happens to them. And then Green Machine Sweden, here's my golem plant that's been going quite a while. Got a few babies going off this. I think this golem plant's probably about 20 years old. It's been going in one form or another. I love this, such a nice succulent. I'm going to try and do some bonsais with these if I can. But just leaving this one, it's the mother tree. Very easy to propagate this tree, as most of you will probably know. Just cut any bit off and shove it in the ground and it'll grow. It's lovely. Turtles are doing okay. I need to get in there and give the tank a bit of a clean in the next day or two. I don't know what this one's doing, trying to poke, squeeze in behind that, but they're doing all right. I haven't got around to using the epoxy resin yet. I got a bit distracted, but this platform's working quite well. So, clean that, give the tank a bit of a clean in the next couple of days, and I'll be back to being happy. Joshua Birch, hats off to you, mate. I would not have the confidence to put these guys outside. They're about 12 years that they've been in this tank, heated tank now. I, you know, it's like, my opinion on it is I'm kind of putting the equivalent of putting a hamster out in the wild now. They've been in this tank so long. I, I think it might overwhelm them a little bit if I tried to put them outdoors. But I have got a couple of plans. I am going to try and make them an outside area in the summer so they can at least get some fresh air and out there. Don't know which pond I'm going to do that in yet. And I'm still very much considering moving this tank into my garden room. So whether any of that will happen this year remains to be seen. But we'll see what happens, I guess. Hello, turtles. While we're indoors, we'll say hello to this fish tank. Corey is still in there. He's just hiding from us. He saw me coming and he darted off behind that ornament with the air rock in it. But no problems here. He's all doing all right. Some of the grasses are starting to die off a little bit, but hopefully they'll recover. If not, we'll take them out and replace them. If anyone knows a way to get rid of snails, because we just constantly get them, apart from just crushing them every time you see them, please let me know in the comments. Hopefully, it shouldn't be too long now, and we should be able to get the Cory in here some friends. The end may be in sight with all these restrictions, so hopefully we can get him some new fish 
other than just snails to keep him company. Got a flower coming on this plant as well. So that'll look nice in the next day or two. He's just in with one of the cactuses. This thing grows like wildfire, it just splits off and keeps growing whatever you keep doing with it. But that flower will look nice in the next day or two. Maybe take some pictures of it. I can see I'm really going to have to get in this pond. That wind is blowing those leaves all over the place. I'm going to have to do something about this fairly soon. The koi are all doing nicely. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning on Thursday morning. Got an air temperature of about 9 degrees and the pond temperature is sitting between 10 and 11 degrees which is pretty nice i'm very happy with that and the fish are nice and lively all coming looking for some food so give them a bit of a feed they're all happy there's no real problems here apart from those few koi pox on a few of them but everyone's overwintered nicely and I'm starting to see them a bit more than I used to now that it's getting a little bit warmer. So, spring's not far off now. We've had a skip arrive, so at least we can get on with the next garden project. As if this wind ever dies down, that is. Blooming heck. Well, so much for not making a mess. Oh well, better go and clear this up now and carry on.
Okay, at least that's a slightly more ordered mess that I can carry on working with tomorrow and continue to clean. But I've made some progress. At least it's a start. Well, it's a super windy day, but we're not letting that stop us. It's the area we're work currently working on. Don't know what that was that I chopped out, but that's completely gone now. But as you've just been seeing, we're currently working on this Wigelia, which we're not taking right out, but we want to cut right back because we just haven't touched it literally for about 20 years. It's all interlocking and growing over itself, so cutting that back I'm not looking at its best at the moment but we want to try and give the gladitia a bit more space so that's actually got a defined canopy and it's not all clustered in like it is at the moment so that's what I'll carry on with so as you can see we've got to get all of that ivy and it's all interlocking with that that's not great and all of this interlocking wood here I've got to work on so I'll be getting on and doing that Mainly, I want to get some easier access to the filter for the nature pond, which helps, but keep watching in future videos to find out our big plan for this area, which we just started working on now. But I should be doing this over the next few weeks. Hopefully it will come together nicely. I don't know too much about Wigelia off the top of my head, so I'll try and put some information on the screen if I can at some point in this video. Anyway, back to work. Well that's me finished butchering the Wigelia for the day, looks, well doesn't look at its best at the moment but we're going to leave it for a bit now, let it recover a little bit, it's not the prettiest but I'll live with that, at least it's not all completely tied up in the glid it's here anymore and it's opened this space right up. But as you can see, I haven't really shown this area much in my other videos, but we've started clearing a lot of the junk here into the skip. And the two sleepers at the back that were hanging really badly, they've come off now and they're ready to go in the skip. There they are in that pile of wood that's all ready to go. And the skip is starting to fill up quite nicely. Glad we got it now. It'll be full before we know it. Oh yeah, we also took out a rosemary that was struggling to hold on there. So we're going to put this one, which is another shrub. I'll try and put the name of it up on screen again. Um, we're going to put this one in that gap which doesn't look great this time of year. There's a lot of other herbs and stuff that grow up in here in the summer. It just doesn't look brilliant at the moment. But yeah, this one's gonna go pretty much where that hole is.
wind. Still waiting for the wind. Still waiting. It's not going to stop, is it? There we go then, busy week over. Like I said, we've been up to quite a bit. Don't forget to watch next week and see what else we get up to and how much progression we make with that project. All that's left to be said then is if you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash the like button as well while you're there. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.